guys for watching. Today we're gonna do a chatty get ready with me video. This is the makeup. I mean, it looks really natural, but the whole point is to just hang out with you guys and chat. So let's go ahead and get started. Hi friends, how are you? I'm so excited to be doing a get ready with me, but you guys know it's more about just chatting and hanging out more so than the makeup. I've got my water ready, cause you know, I gotta stay hydrated because I'm gonna talk so much. This is like a hangout video, so grab your snacks. My snack of choice right now is lemon heads. Oh my gosh, I remember when I um, just gave birth to Liam, like six years ago. Um, my snack of choice when I was breastfeeding Liam was my lemon heads, my water, and my sesame seed crackers. Yeah, so I took my sip, and now let's go ahead and get ready. So I already moisturized, and now I'm going to use the Ola Henriksen Banana Bright Face Primer. Primer. I heard about this through Coffee Break with Danny. She... You guys, she gives the best recommendations. If you guys don't watch her, she is it. She is just absolutely amazing in every aspect. She just is so good to everyone that she knows. Her fur babies are so loved. The best mama ever. Oh my God. And she can cook. She can really get down because she was a chef, man. She's bomb. Okay, so that's Ola Henriksen. And you guys, I have to tell you about this. So I am a sucker for as seen on TV. I'm a sucker for Instagram ads, TikTok ads, all the ads. I found this. It was like the cheesiest, cheesiest Instagram ad video about like this one girl and how her legs were swollen and she was trying to figure out life and how she could... Um, you know, get her legs to not be swollen. And she created this, it's called self-care and how it helps with depuffing, draining your lymphatic system. I use it for my face. I also use it for like under my arms right here on the triceps. I use it on the biceps. I use it on the back of the thigh. I took before and after pictures on the back of the thigh just to see if it actually really works. And I'll let you guys know. It's called Self Care. I bought it on. Oh, and I also bought it because it would. They had a discount. You guys know, know me and a discount. A girl could not say no to a discount. So now I'm using the Tula Rose Glow and get it. Yes, honey, I'm about to get it underneath these eyes. <laughs> the fact that they talk, they named it get it. Like, girl, who are you talking to? I guess you're talking to me because that's how I talk. <laughs> I've been using this forever, I promise you. No lies, it makes a difference. So um, I have this empty bag and I'm putting all the stuff that I use in that bag. So if you guys hear that noise, I apologize. I just wanna keep track of all the products that I use so that I can do close-up B-roll while we're talking about the products because I want you to see each product. And then I am busting out with my, oh my God, how many years has it been? And how many, I probably have gone through 30 of these. Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, my favorite scent is the strawberry one. I've tried the other ones, like the green apple, the new one, the candy one, no, strawberry. Um, I lost the spatula for this, so I'm gonna just use Q-tips, but you know, honestly, I don't always use Q-tips. I use my fingers because I wash my hands. Mm, it smells so good and it just moisturizes your lips. So that is that. And now let's begin with the foundation. This is my go-to. I mean, obviously, look how thin it is. <laughs> this is my It Cosmetics CC Cream. It's an SPF 40. Um, it's the oil-free matte um, formula. There are so many different formulas that they have. And the shade that I am is medium tan. So the camera is this way because I'm using natural lighting, but my mirror is this way. So I hope you don't mind that I'll be chatting with you like this sometimes. I wish I had a real beauty setup, but I don't. My bedroom is my office. My bedroom is where I do my makeup. I don't have any like setup situation. <laughs> the last time I did was when, um, before we had Jakey. <laughs> But I'd rather have Jakey than a spare room, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, and then our room downstairs is Justin's office and also it's legit a guest bedroom because we put like a real bed in there and everything um, just to make it comfortable for Bubby and Saba when they visit because you guys know they're from Minnesota. And they, they used to visit quite often, like pretty often, but I mean you guys know right now Bay Area is still in shelter in place till May 31st. I know that some places have opened already. What are your thoughts on that? Do you think it's too soon? Do you think it's just right? Like, honestly, let me know because I don't know when Georgia opened, no offense, but I really feel like that was a little too soon. 
like it was a little too soon like yeah but that's just my personal opinion i won't say more about it because i don't want i don't want people to get mad at my opinions but when was the last time i even worried about people getting mad about my opinions you guys know i am so honest like are you kidding i i will i'll be fighting back sometimes <laughs> <laughs> not in a mean way but I fight back for what I believe in so now this is Tarte Shape Tape concealer you guys I don't know what happened but recently I just started um, getting really dark under eyes like I didn't when I was younger man that didn't happen but when I was younger I also didn't have kids so that's that that is that my friends I really think it could be the kids how are you guys doing? If you guys have kids and you have been in quarantine, shelter in place with them, how has your routine been? And also, are you working? Are you working from home? What's it like? Like my mom, she um, she recently got laid off and she was really, really upset and called me crying. And I was like, I'm so sorry, mom. It's going to be okay. You know, she was working for the company for like, over nine years or ten years or so and I was telling my mom like she was telling me like when she left her co-workers like were hugging her and I'm like mommy that's not social distancing and she's like I was working I didn't social distance because I had to go to work every day and I was like oh yeah never mind sorry mom <laughs> I was like how can you deny a hug from a co-worker that's crying and saying goodbye to my mom you know but yeah I know so many people have lost their jobs and I just I really hope that we all like everything gets better you know I really do now is a really good time to help those who are in need to ask neighbors like are you doing okay to ask friends are you doing okay for me I feel so blessed that I still have a job I feel so blessed that we still have our home and that you know I can feed my children and I have to put that in in perspective when they're driving me nuts because sometimes the kids are driving me nuts but you know I am grateful for my job and so I try my best to like help you guys out sometimes you guys will DM me and I'll send you some some money through Venmo it's not a lot but it's you know the best that we could do and when it first started we we Venmoed a thousand dollars total we gave um, 20 50 dollar like Venmos um, so we try our best to help you guys out, you know, um, cause I really care. Y'all are my friends. You, if you guys ever join me on IGTV, you know, what's, what's that about? So this is the pure four in one light tan powder, you guys. Um, and it's good coverage. If you guys can tell, like I have oily skin, it's amazing coverage. And the way I do my makeup is always the same. I notice. So this is the Tarte Park Avenue princess. It usually is a good bronzer when I'm not tanned. And obviously I'm not tanned because where do I go? I go to our backyard, but um, I'm not as tanned as I used to be. <laughs> I mean, I tried self-tanner, you guys, and that did not work out for me. Oh my gosh. It was the Isle of Paradise um, drop, drop, you know, you mix it in lotion. Mm, girl no it did not work out for me it was terrible yeah oh my gosh i want to ask you guys a question so how has shelter in place been like like um let me know if you're in a relationship if you have a wife a husband a girlfriend a boyfriend let me know like have you guys been getting along because justin and i we have been getting along like we've been getting along so beautifully but there was this one day i was doing an ig live he comes upstairs he knows that i love myself some alone time he comes upstairs and i was like yes <laughs> i'm doing my ig live because i usually do ig lives like almost every day and i was like yes honey was like what's going on and he was like, oh, I was just wondering what time you're going to go downstairs because I need to make a call with someone who lives in Thailand. And since that person lives in a different country, like I was like, I always get like the time that I get and he gets the certain amount of time that he gets too, like of alone time, like in the mornings, I work out, like I work out six days a week, I work out. And then I get ready for the day and that includes taking a shower and doing my makeup if I want to do my makeup. And I usually do my makeup if we're doing IG Live. And I was like, 
like I was shook. I was like, did he really interrupt my alone time to ask me that? And then he, but what I assumed was that he was telling me to get off. Sorry, you guys, I'm looking for my eyebrow pencil. He was telling me to get off um, IG Live to, you know, so that he can make his call, even though it's not technically like my, my alone time hasn't ended, but we had a misunderstanding. Um, and he just wanted to know what time so that he can schedule the call with the person in Thailand. And so, yeah, I just lost my ish. Like, but I think that I wouldn't have lost my mind and been upset with that situation if it wasn't for being in shelter in place for like eight weeks. <sighs> yeah, I'm, let me just say, we, I think the Bay Area, the San Francisco Bay Area has been in shelter in place longer than most cities in the u.s because we did it earlier and we chose to take the kids out of school earlier than um when like before it shut down we were just like worried and so we did that ahead of time so this is elf's um ultra precise brow pencil you guys update on the ombre powder brow so i got my brows done last year and I really like them. They were ombre powder brows. I couldn't do microblading brows because I have oily skin and I was told that I couldn't do microblading brows because I have oily skin. Like it would start to blur, like the hairs would start to blur and blend and all of that. I was so sad. But ombre powder brows were really great too because um, it was so easy to just wake up and not have to do my eyebrows. Sometimes I would do it once it started to fade, but now you can't even see the definition. Like, do you see it? You No, you don't see it at all. So that's that. But yeah, this eyebrow pencil is really good. And I like the color. Let me tell you the color. Man, it doesn't even tell you the color, but it's probably dark brown or something because I have black hair, so I choose something that's a little dark brown-ish. Yeah, and I need to get my eyebrows done, you guys. So my nails, though, they're they're looking fine because I have press-on nails, you guys. I love press-on nails. <sighs> this eyebrow pencil is great. It's precise. It reminds me of the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. It's so good, you guys. So what have you guys have been watching lately? Like, I want to know. Like, oh my gosh. I am so done with hearing people tell me about... Ed and Rose from 90 Day Fiance. I hate it when people try to compare me and Justin to Ed and Rose because first of all, hail to the na. Hail to the na times a million. No, 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 no. Uh-uh. You guys could never compare me and Justin to Ed and Rose. First of all, I would never holler at Ed. No offense, Ed, but I, you is not my type and you never will be. So don't Ever. I mean, Rose is so pretty, though. Rose is such a natural beauty. I'm just saying, like, Rose... Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. And I haven't even watched it. I've only seen clips it's because I follow a lot of Filipino accounts on Instagram. And if there's a Filipino on the television screen that's not in the, U that's not in the Philippines and they're, like, in a U.S. show, all us Filipinos will talk about that one Filipino on that one show. That's how the Filipinos are. That's how my peoples are. That's how we are, <laughs> for real. So why do I know about Ed and Rose? Because all the Fil Filipinos talk about it, even though, like, it's not even in a positive light to be honest i'm like what are you guys doing rose no mm -mm. yeah and like justin doesn't look like ed okay stop you guys i mean i wouldn't mind looking like rose i think rose is freaking beautiful so like if you guys have nice things to say just say i look like rose because <laughs> she cute okay she real cute but ed no nah. i'm sorry ed but justin does not look like ed don't even play my husband like that my husband is all fine all the time but I also am his wife so that's my personal opinion doesn't have to be yours you guys so now oh why am I about to do mascara your girl needs to do more than mascara okay um we're gonna go in with my favorite palette you guys this is the Fenty Beauty palette it is in um, snap it's the snap shadows and it's in true neutrals you know me in the neutrals I'm gonna go in with um, let's see with this color called come and get it Ooh, okay <laughs> oh my goodness so yeah come and get it is right here the brown color right there and we're just gonna put it right on the crease like this 
you guys know I love neutrals that's my thing all day every day all the time I just want it to kind of look natural but not because obviously I'm gonna hit you with the lashes soon um, but yeah I love neutrals that's my thing you know why neutrals are so fun for me because it's so easy like you can't really mess up with neutrals and this MAC brush is the MAC 217 it's so good I remember I went to a MAC store to get my makeup done and I asked this one girl I remember it was years ago probably like five years ago I was like what's a good brush to put on my crease because I feel like my eyes are small and I want something to blend easily on the crease and she said 217 so this is honestly my second 217 brush because the first one got so jacked up already but I love it so yeah that's that and then I'm gonna grab like a flat brush like this this one is the Sigma 252 oh my god Sigma y'all when was the last time and why do I say y'all because my best friend is from Louisiana and she says y'all and I learn a lot of sayings from my best friend like everything I get from D so this is called oh my gosh is it really it's called Sima down Sima down so I'm gonna Sima down right here and I'm gonna put that all over. oh so beautiful why do I act like it's my first time using it obviously you will see how much product and how much of a dent I've done on this when I give you guys a b-roll close-up but it's such a good eyeshadow oh my goodness it's so beautiful yeah so it's looking like that but you know I just love makeup I remember when shelter in place happened I was that girl who was like I got this it's gonna be okay I got this like I was so positive in the beginning right like I was like like thriving doing all these amazing activities with the kids working out every day I mean I'm still working out because that's for health, mental health working out getting ready doing my makeup every day and then PMS happened and it hit me hard my PMS was like the worst during the shelter in place I was like craving milk duds I was like craving chilaquiles every day man and I was really grumpy and I was like oh my gosh like what is going on it it was worse like my PMS is not usually that bad and then I realized I'm not sweating as hard I'm not pushing myself as hard in my workouts and I actually went to a doctor to talk to my doctor or a gynecologist when I had my like recent pap smear a while ago we talk about vaginas here because we're friends yeah so I went and got my pap smear I was telling my doctor I was like after I gave birth to Jacob I feel as though my periods have gotten worse and she was telling me you have and I was giving her all the examples like I get hot flashes before my period 10 days before my period is when I start getting grumpy I can't sleep you know I'm tired I'm irritable like all those things and she's like you have PMS like real PMS like I forgot the the medical term but I have like the real one like like not like a fake like I need to just eat chocolate and ice cream but I have the real ish and and she told me she's like the only thing you can do is take birth control and I'm like I'm sorry that's not an option my husband got a vasectomy for a reason because I didn't want to take birth control anymore after having our kids because first of all we can't have any more kids because I had complications and then second of all like I just feel like what's the point of Justin getting a vasectomy if we are gonna take birth control pills you know so I told her that's not an option and she told me well girl if that's not an option you just have to work out because that really helps she told me to work out regularly and to really sweat it out and she said to work out a lot more before my period arrives so that my PMS isn't so bad and honestly that really really worked but while in shelter in place my workout isn't as I don't get as good of a workout I guess I'm I do better in groups like my group workouts because I love that body pumps my favorite so I ended up buying the bar and then I really miss cycling, so I ended up purchasing the Peloton bike on my birthday as a birthday gift to myself. But it has not arrived yet. It, it's taken more than six weeks for it to arrive. So it's going to come in late May, even though I ordered it um, early April. But that's okay. You guys, I am 35 now. I turned 35 on April 7th. And my, we all had shelter-in-place birthdays. Jacob had his birthday on April 20th. Liam, I uh, know. 
Liam had his birthday on April 20th. Jacob had it on April 27th. We all had a shelter in place birthday. It was sad because Liam and well Liam, Jacob couldn't really tell me with words but Liam wanted his friends over and we, we were like, we're so sorry. So it was just us, mommy, daddy, Jacob, and Liam. But we did get a curbside cake for them from, um, what's that place? The Bunt Place, nothing Bunt Cake. Yeah, let me do one more. This mascara is so good, you guys. It is my favorite drugstore mascara. But honestly, I'm showing you guys this mascara, but I'm gonna pop on lashes because um, I'm taking a bunch of pictures today and I just want that extra, like, I don't know, extra lash. Um, this is the Maybelline, the Rocket Volume Express Mascara. So good. And oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, I popped on um, a brow bone color by Fenty Beauty and it's in the shade Nookie Rookie. But I'll, you guys know, I always hook y'all up with some B-roll. Let me check the eyebrows. <sighs> my eyebrows are my major issue. That's why I um, always check on them. And that's why it was so worth it for me to get my eyebrows done. Um, so now I am going to look for, um, uh, what am I going to do now? I feel like I'm lost. Oh, let's do this. The Gimme Brow. This is an eyebrow tamer, I would call it. Or what is it? I would call it an eyebrow tamer. It's a fiber gel that keeps your brows in place. And I mean, I have not threaded my eyebrows, trimmed it, so I need some help with these brows. And so this is really good for keeping it in place. And honestly, I like it because it adds a little bit more color to it. It's a fiber gel that has color, so it, it fills in your brows even more. And I use the color number three, and I've had this forever. And now we are gonna go in with Benefits High Brow. I'm gonna put this right at the waterline because when I do that, I notice that my eyes look more awake and happy. So that's what I'm doing right now. Have you guys done that? Like try any nude liner. Like look at this eye and look at this eye. This eye looks more awake. For some reason, it just does that. This is also good for the brow bone. You can use this also for the brow bone, you guys. Oh, and by the way, Sorry, let me just go reach down. I forgot to put mascara on the bottom lash line. I forget about that all the time. And I don't know why I'm like super quiet when I do the bottom lash line. It's like I gotta focus. It's, oh my gosh, it's like how I am when I do liner. Do Are you guys hecka quiet when you do your eyeliner? I'm like so quiet. I'm like, Justin, I can't talk right now. I have to do my eyeliner. <laughs> okay, so we did the bronzer, but I feel like I want to use the leftover bronzer from the brush like this and do that. I, um, Mally, wrong call of Mally Beauty was at the Ulta near my house one day and, um, I went and I learned to always contour right here like that because it gives your face a more defined look and also I learned to do this to apply it right under the chin because the darkness under the chin makes it look more defined as well so that's why I do that and then you gotta drag it all the way down to your neck because you don't want it to be too dark right here and not have any color down here so I do that all the time so whenever I wash my face like at night when I get rid of all the makeup and I shower, I'm always like washing my neck too because I was like, honey, I have as much makeup on the face and the neck, you know? So that's what I do. Hopefully you guys enjoy that little tip. This, I got it from a FabFitFun box. Like, oh my gosh, probably last year. I talk about this all the time because it is part of my daily makeup routine. This is Thrive Cosmetics Brightening Eye Brightener in Stella. So you pop this in to the inner corner of your eyes like this. And oh my gosh, it is so beautiful. It makes such a huge difference. It's so beautiful. I just can't with this. Oh, but I can. <laughs> oh, but I really can. It feels so normal to be home with the kids all day. Um, and I'm surprised I don't even hear them. Like, what, is, what kind of magic is Justin doing with the kids right now? Um, <laughs> but it feels so normal having them home. But I feel like I haven't been the best, like, 
homeschooling mom. I've, I mean, homeschooling just, just up and surprised all of us, hasn't it? So I was a preschool teacher, so I'm really good at like activities and like making Play-Doh and doing volcanoes. I'm really good at all things five and under but now liam is six so it's like dude what like what am i gonna do so these are the lashes that i'm gonna do it's the ardell 424 these are naked lashes they have a subtle volume and length it says i bought it on amazon i've been buying it on amazon for a while now and i really like it but before i do that i feel like i should pop on some blush this is fenty beauty and the color that i love is called petal poppin you guys Petal poppin. I use my ring finger for some reason and I just apply it on right here. I apply it on a little higher than I would and I lift it up like this. Do you guys see that? And I learned that from watching the Fenty Beauty like Instagram. By the way, I'm on Instagram if you guys want to follow me. I would love that because I'm way more active on Instagram than I am on YouTube. Um, I've just been a lot busier on Instagram work-wise and so you got to put in your time where you know where you can actually thrive you know so that's just my opinion and I feel like I have been shadow banned on YouTube like my videos used to do so well on this channel even my cleaning videos were the videos that did the best and even those cleaning videos that I post they don't get the views they used to get and my friend Jordan JJ Weezy did an entire video on shadow banning months ago and I watched that and it really resonated with me because I feel like my channel is is doing that and also um, Danny coffee break with Danny mentioned that too so what you guys can do if you enjoy my videos is unsubscribe and then subscribe and then hopefully you will see my videos pop up in your subscription feed because shadow banning is when your videos are no longer shown in some subscription feeds and that's that's sad it's like i've been doing this for over 10 years like this it's really hurtful for youtube to do something for to somebody who's been doing this for so long and so loyal to this platform like so loyal that i have three channels like i'm not playing games like i work really hard and youtube is like playing with me so please unsubscribe and then resubscribe and add me to your notification bell so that you guys can see my videos and oh my gosh all this blush do you see it i'm obsessed let's do one more the thing about this is it looks like it's so much color but it's buildable and i have a very light hand like i tap 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 it like this i love it i know this makeup look doesn't look complete yet but i promise you it will tie together as soon as possible and i have this towel right on my uh, <laughs> i'm so ratchet i got a towel where i sit because i get makeup all over the you know my chair so instead i always sit with a towel and i wipe my hand on the towel and then i wash it so that's what i'm doing right now so i put that down and now we are going to tight line the eyes because tight lining makes a huge difference i'm just gonna tight line right there so now let is let's go in with the lashes. I'm gonna use that Ardell 424 that I mentioned. And oh my gosh, the reason why I like these lashes is they're pretty natural looking. I mean, as natural as fake lashes can look, you know? But the reason why I like it is because it's so easy and bendable, and I love lashes like that. And it's not as crazy as some of the lashes that I wear. So this is more like a good alternative to eyelash extensions oh but i miss eyelash extensions but most of all i miss my friend christina because she's my friend like i've supported christina's business ever since she be she began her eyelash extensions business so i'm using esquito lash glue it's my favorite you guys esquito lash glue is it so here i am i'm gonna apply this right to the top lash line i've done so many tutorials on instagram on how to apply lashes i don't close my eyes all the way i do look down though i don't close my eyes i look down like that i push it to the lash line and then i lift the lashes a little up like this and i'm good to go and i do like to use tweezers though because tweezers help 
These are my Lashify tweezers, but you can use any tweezers that you want. And you can just push it because um, pushing it down helps. But this Esquito Lash Glue, it's been my favorite for years. It's so good. All right, so that's one lash. Let me come back at you with the next lash on because it's probably taken so much time this video. You guys, I have both the lashes on now and I mean, since we're being extra today, might as well be super extra with the Stroboscope highlighter. Oh my gosh, just a little goes a long way. Check it out. Look, this is before and this is after. Ah, look at all that glowiness. Oh my gosh, this is Moon Play Cosmetics Stroboscope. I heard about it through my friend Sam Sherman. She loves this stuff and Sam um, connected me with the brand and the brand sent it to me years ago. So thank you, Sam. I love you, girl. Like Sam was like, hey, do you want to try out this highlighter? And I'm like, sure. And she's like, okay, let me intro you to the brand and they want to send it to you. And I'm like, girl, thanks, Sam. So yeah, that is my makeup, and now we are going to line the eyes. I like using dark brown. This, oh my gosh, I have to say, I've tried high-end liquid eyeliner. I've tried drugstore. This is the best. I will always say that. This is all you see me use. Physician's Formula Eye Booster 2-in-1 Lash Boosting Eyeliner and Serum. I don't know about it boosting my lashes, but I know that it works really well with the precise line and how easily I apply this liquid liner. It just glides, y'all. Oh my God, it's so good. And the dark brown is my favorite. I don't know, sometimes I feel like black is a little too intense, so I go with dark brown and dark brown does the job. Like look, it was so easy, you guys. It was so easy. Recently, I tried, um, you know, those magnetic liners and lashes. It didn't work out for me for one, like this Amazon brand. My eyes got really puffy and irritated. I feel like I got a like an allergic reaction, and the sides started lifting. So I don't, I don't do magnetic lashes. But I heard the Kiss ones are good, so I'm gonna try that one eventually. Cause I don't want to give up on just because I had one bad experience doesn't mean that I'll have. A bad experience every time you know and I feel like th that's to say for life <laughs> not just magnetic lashes you know so yeah this is it you guys give it a try okay I'm gonna link everything that I use in the information box down below because I swear by this and if you ever watch my IG lives this is the look that I always do when I'm like taking IG pictures filming this is just the look that I really enjoy. It's like my go-to makeup look. So that is that. Dump that in the bag so that you I can do... Oh, it didn't look that good. Hold on, you guys. It really bugged me. I'm missing a little piece of the, the wing. There you go. There you go. Um, Now the lips, you guys. The lips. So we're going to go in with... My favorite, the Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Char Charlotte Tilbury lip liner. I feel like I have too much Laneige lip sleeping mask on. So I'm using a Q-tip to kind of just wipe off some of that. Because if you have too much, it won't, like the lip liner won't stick. So this, this is Charlotte Tilbury Philo Tuck lip liner. And, ooh, mustache looking good, AKA it's gone. So yeah, I fill in my entire lips with the Pillow Talk because sometimes I don't like using the Pillow Talk lipstick and the liner. I like just using the liner and then gloss because I think it's so pretty. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do today. That's the lip liner all by itself. Isn't it beautiful? I love it. I'm obsessed with it. It's so beautiful. Okay, we did that. And now for the lip gloss. Yes, this is the color I wanted to show you guys. So this color is, oh, and I also want to get the setting spray, of course. This color is Buxom. It's called Hot Toddy. 
and it's one of those plumping lip balms and i need help y'all i mean i could use any plumping i could possibly get oh my god this bluebird i see every day is outside my window right now just like hi oh, hey what are you doing oh sorry you guys i got sidetracked i saw that cute little bluebird that i see every day oh my god i feel like that's a sign from my dad because you know if you guys have been watching me or know me my dad he passed away from cancer and ever since he did i would see butterflies and now i see bluebirds every single day outside my window i think that's my dad like a sign from my dad so that's hot toddy and it's getting gloomy it looks like it's about to rain that's why the lighting isn't so fabulous i apologize you guys last but not least before i go and do my hair and show you guys that hair tutorial in another video is setting spray all nighter urban decay setting spray yes and then i just let that dry the best setting spray ever and i've tried so many it is my favorite and then over here in this drawer i just have to show you guys oh my god this is it need, it needs to be shared this is my favorite oh my god my favorite perfume this is my little one that i ran out of and then this is my big mama one that i just got as a gift from justin he got me the wrong one so we exchanged it at sephora because chanel chance there's four different kinds i like the e-a-u-t and d-r-e and um it's the pink bottle it looks pinkish yes so this is my favorite i like to spray it on my back and then i do this i legit spray it in the air and then i run into it that's how i apply my um my perfume so it's like light but like I smell it like right here. Oh my God, I smell it. And then I was watching a video from, I think it was Halle Berry talked about perfume. You apply it on your wrist, but you're not supposed to touch the wrist. You're supposed to like just let it do that. Like, like you're not supposed to mix it, I guess. I don't know. I do that. I mix it. I put it right here like that. I put it inside the elbow cracks. Is that what it's called? The nook and crannies of the elbow behind the knees too? Everywhere, you guys be smelling good this is my favorite perfume so if you guys have not smelled it you guys need to go to a sephora when shelter in place is lifted or if you feel safe to or maybe get a little sample but oh my god it's the best but thank you friends so much for spending so much of your time with me i'm so honored i love you guys you guys are the best I decided since my views are not popping on here since I'm shadow banned, I'm gonna share what I like. And you know what I like doing? I like doing get ready with me videos even if I get two of you guys watching. So I'm gonna do that. I love you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye!